Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and do all that technology-related stuff. As you can see, well, you can't really see. I am on in my cabin on the cruise ship, on the Carnival Liberty. Uh, Mandy's watching a movie right now. We're sunburned beyond belief. Um, we went kayaking uh, the other yesterday, and we just got so burned up. Today we went ATVing. It was so fun. Just we're burning. Um... But it was fun. You can't really tell, but my face is sunburned. My legs are just red as lobsters right now. You can't tell because um, you can't see my legs, but also you just can't really tell with the eyesight camera. But trust though, it hurts like really bad. Anyway, I wanted to do a small video today and talk about um, two pieces of software. One of them I'm going to show you today. Another one I'll, I'll probably have to do a separate review on uh, when I get back home. Software is made by a company called Magnetic. Um, and by the way, thank you to Jeff at, uh, Jeff at, uh, Jeff at Magnetic for, uh, providing the, the license keys for me, to, um, to mess with the software. I found it. It's excellent. Really enjoy it. But I want to talk about it a little bit. It's called, this piece of software I'm going to be showing you today is called Expand Drive. Now, it's an FTP client, but not like any other FTP client out there on the web that you'll find. What it does is it tunnel, it uses SSH, um, uh, which is a secure connection. Um, socket connection to connect to your host your server your web server or whatever server you might have and you can transfer files that way instead of using FTP which is uses port 21 it uses port 22 which is the SSH connection now it's it's more secure it's nice it has a number of different features and I wish I could show you what if I can get online another time uh, I'll show you the I'll show you guys in action what it looks like but it basically, you can mount your server, um, your server's drive, so to speak, onto your computer and access it like you were just browsing your own computer. And it makes it easy to drag and drop files, move files back and forth, edit them on the server itself, which is not always is recommended. I don't always recommend you do that. I recommend you take it locally uh, and then edit it just in case something goes awry or something goes wrong, whatever it may be. So edit locally always, but this allows you to copy files, look at contents, all within your uh, your your operating system essentially, because it mounts the drive within the operating system. It makes it so simple, so nice. It's one of the better softwares out there and for FTP. It's probably one of my favorites now. Anyway, check this out. So right now you can see right here, I have my best techie drive. Now you can click new drive, and you add, you add your server information. So let's say your server, you have your server. Um, let's do your web server, your web server dot com, right? Put your username, let's say my username is Jeff, put your password, let's say whatever your password is. You can have it save the password or not. And you can even name the drive. So let's say you wanted to call this, uh, personal, personal, uh, web server, right? And you can even uh, put a default a default remote path if you wanted to. You don't have to. If you're not, it'll just go directly to by the default set by the server. And as you see, it connects to port 22. So you save and close this, or you can connect. And you can also have a reconnect when you log in. So if you want, um, if you don't know, if you want it to automatically connect to your web server when you log into your computer, it'll do that as well. So then you save and close, and it adds a little. Uh, a little icon and the, the title that you named it here. So also with the application is so simple. Also you can edit, delete them, or connect. Um, very simple. What it will happen is once you connect, um, it will place a a uh, an icon here in your on your sidebar in uh, Finder, or if you're on Windows in uh, Explorer. You know, we're, uh, either in my computer or on the side, wherever you would, uh, it'll place them both actually. And you can just access it like you were accessing, you know, applications and applications, you know, or documents, just like this. It'll be just that simple. You go through, it's really that easy. Um, it's very simple, very nice. So check this out. Um, it's worth the, what uh, I think it's 40 bucks. Definitely worth the 40 bucks. I would pay for it without a question. Um, and it's just amazing software. It's made by a company called Magnetic. Um, I really, really like this software, and I'm recommending it, recommending it, very highly.
Um, so check it out. Uh, I'm probably gonna, I'll probably have some links um, when I post this where you can download it. Um, so look for those definitely. And also you have preferences and all that other stuff. So you can have it start when you log in. You can, you know, fade the window. It has a whole bunch of, you know, it has a built-in software update. It'll check for updates for you. Very, very nice. I like it. Excellent software. Highly recommend it. Check it out. Thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechie.net. I'm on a cruise ship. Maybe I'll do a little tour tomorrow. Before, because tomorrow's our last day, actually. Kind of sad. Um, really, this cruise, this cruise has been amazing. It's been excellent. I really enjoyed every minute of it. And uh, I'll be back soon, guys. So I'll see you then.